I would generally take a, a fixed position off the bank. Um, I suppose a lot of our greens has coloured um, squares on top of the ditches and that's where the green keepers normally put different, uh, whether it be the number of the pegs. Um, obviously the colours collate with each other at the opposite end. So um, I would take a fixed position. Um, after a while you sort of you sort of get used to where your bowls generally go. Um, you'll get, sort of get a feel of as soon as you play one, it'll your, your brain will sort of figure out what the pace is, and then you'll naturally go to somewhere that you'll always go. Generally, most greens in New Zealand are very similar, uh, but generally your mind's off a fixed spot, um, and then at the point of release, I think most people would just naturally just they just look down a few feet in front of them and let it go just on the point of delivery. So there's a bit of a problem with looking using a point on the bank per se and, and I know Shannon's the world singles champion so we could argue all day about this. The challenge with using a point on the bank is if the mat's in a different place so then the line does actually change so there is no problem in understanding what that line might look like and then taking a focus on a mark on the bank um, but be aware that if the mat's six, six metres up further up the green that line on the bank is no longer relevant to what it was when it was on the two metre mark. Having said all that, <coughs> personally I look at the widest point of the arc, so I imagine where that widest point is, and that's my aiming point, um, so it doesn't really matter where the mat is. And I'm actually looking at that when I let it go, I don't look down typically. If I'm looking down I'm playing poorly, um, It's one of the because it's about keeping the head still at the point of release, and so if I've got to focus on that widest point, and I'm looking at that when I release the bowl, my head's still. Thank you.